Hello everyone, Swish Bister here, and today we got a Fiverr McDiver, call me MacGyver, Axeman. That's right, let's get to it. First up is the minigun replacer by Side Effects. This replaces the vanilla minigun with a fantastic looking new custom mesh and texture. Really just fantastic, and uh, I, I can't wait to just destroy people with this. It's going to be wonderful. All Weapon Sounds Overhaul by Suspect from GTA 5 Mods. That's right, GTA 5 mods is still trying to get me. So obviously this just replaces all of the vanilla gun sounds in the game. This goes for ballistic weapons, energy, and I'm pretty sure, you know, the bigger guns as well. Most of the weapon sounds are replaced. There are a few that aren't. Um, I think one of the shotguns isn't. But besides that, most of these sound pretty good. And I'll just let you hear a bunch of them right here. Oblivion style loading screens by Starkiller55. Another great loading screen mod. This one's got a little bit of an Oblivion style, as you can see here, along with the title. And got some pretty cool pictures. You got some uh, pictures, some. Uh, look, look at that. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, look at that. I know a few people in the comments mentioned a few ways to make this more New Vegas y, but I kind of like it the way it is. Um, but yeah, pretty cool, good stuff, and we'll be using this. Dino Jackson, action star by American Weirdo. That's right, that's our companion for today. And here he is in Good Spring Cemetery, hot diggity dog. And after that, we are doing Missing Persons Upgraded and Completely Voiced by CDO947214. That's right, everyone. We're This is a redux. We've done uh, Missing Persons, I think, what was it, 2015? It's completely voiced now, so uh, we're going to pick up Dino Jackson, pick up um, Construction Worker Ralph, and then we're going to go to it, so... Hey, Donald Jackson. There are two kinds of people in this world. Those with a gun, and those who dig. Dig. Today, I had to be both those people. I had to bury my darling Lorraine, and now I'm gonna find the <laughs> who killed her and shoot him <laughs> with a gun. Are you? Do you have a quest? The question is, are you man enough to join me? I'm looking for a partner. A crime fighting partner. I'm part SEAL, so I guess so. Who killed her? Do you know? I don't know who did it, but I have a pretty good idea of how to find him. I could still use your help, though. I can't work alone on this one. I mean, you can, but you just don't want to. Sure, I'll be your partner. Howdy! I've seen you somewhere before. What did you do before the Great War? Actually, I don't know. Well, sure, I'm going to ask you. I used to be an action star in Hollywood was among the greats. You might know me from my film, Dino Jackson, Action Star. Oh my god, I love that movie. You may also know my films, The Gunman, 1 through 23. Yes. Let Sleeping Dogs Die. Oh. And the less popular but equally intense, Santa Claus Tried to Kill Me. And you know, I like that one. I draw inspiration for my roles from all the great 70s and 80s action shows. Caillou, Lucky Star, <laughs> and The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't stop the bombs from falling and ending the world. But it didn't end my career. Now I shoot people for real. That's pretty awesome, dude. Sure, I'll be your partner. That sounds awesome. I want to work with a movie star. That's what I like to hear. Now, I have no idea what the murderer who killed Lorraine is, but I know someone who might. His name is Wise Man. No, that's his, that's really his name. James Wise Man. Hmm. But he's really wise. And he can probably help us get on track. Well, I mean, I hope you don't mind. We got like a... Uh... The Wise Man should be in his cave. Okay. Here, I'll mark on your pit boy where the cave is. I'd like to go there soon, if at all possible. Well, I got like, I don't know, an hour long, two hour long quest mod we're going to do, so... We do we do this afterwards. I didn't know you got a quest. That's awesome. Ain't got time to bleed. Mmm, groovy. Mmm, I gotta get rid of my stupid thing. 
All right, awesome. I did not realize Dino Jackson had a um, quest. That's fantastic. All right, so we are going to be going to uh, the Good Springs Saloon. Meant to do that. I uh, just like to put my face in the snow because it feels great. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we got no uh, Sergeant Buttfist because we're going to have uh, Ralph and then missing persons. I don't recall if we get it. I don't think we do get any other companions, but let's just, uh, you know. Ooh! Oh! Mm. Oh, I have that car mod where cars drive around. We could have had a little car companion. That would have been awesome. I gotta, like, actually review that mod, because I've shown it off twice, I think, in the last two weeks. So, um, the other thing about Ralph... So, Ralph is now fully, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, voiced, and, uh, let's, uh, see how much he, like, knows about Jeopardy. It's gonna be great. What's up? What can I do you for? Oh, I love your voice. You're great. You look flustered. Yeah, why not? This is the most insane freaking town I have ever seen. It's life. How so? Open your eyes. First, that creepy robot brings your ass in with a freaking hole in your head, and thanks to the Super Doc, you actually live. Super Doc! I got doc. some girl pestering me to hunt geckos with her. I got Thrifty McGee over there charging me over a hundred caps for a freaking fission battery. <laughs> the geezer on the front porch won't trust me with his dynamite, even though I'm a freaking construction worker. The town's under constant threat from convicts, and to cap it all off, the freaking barkeep will let me have more than two drinks. Wait, really? Is it because she's dead? I don't know if she's dead. Okay, if you say so. I don't know what I... Whoa! Yeah, she's dead, dude. Yo, if she... Just take... Just... She's dead. Take whatever you want. Here, yeah, take some whiskey. Nice. Alright, we're leaving. Stop scratching your balls. What can I do you for? I assume you're from the Midwest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this place is a shithole now. Sorry. You still have any family back there that aren't dead? That's a sore subject. Maybe another time. Tell me about your dead family. All right, let's go. No, I don't want you to wait here. Ah, oh, shit. Crap. Don't take too friggin' long. You see that tower on the strip all lit up? All right, I'm ready. I'm ready if you, uh... Oh, uh, we're all works. ready. I really like your voice. All right, perfect. We got everyone here. We got a. Uh, we got our axe boy. We got a uh, movie star. Look at this. This is, this is top notch. Go over here. This is top notch. We can review. Hey, go fuck yourself, Ralph. God. Thought we had a good thing going. Flip me off like an asshole. Um, what were we doing? Right. I think. Crimson Caravan. Look at that. That was loading screen. This is, it's Kermit's dad. He's green. Oh, come on. Guys, we don't need you. I'm not trying to be mean, but we don't need you right now. Look at that. That's from Fallout 3. What? What? Alright, one of these buildings. Don't you dare flip me off again, Ralph. Not this one. That one. Hey, look at these people over here. You guys always here? I've heard that elite units are on the way to support our armies here. Man, I gotta do an overhaul or like, redo everyone's voices. Good morning, Johannes. You there? You're that curry everyone's talking about. Oh yes, this is me. That is correct. My name is John, and I can't find my daughter, Laurie. I thought it was Johannes. Don't worry, I've looked for her. Where did you see her last? In California. She said that she was coming here for some business in Prim, but no one there can tell me anything. Hmm. Prim is a shithole. I won't let you down. Oh, thank you. Please bring her back to me. No promises. She may be dead or chopped up into tiny pieces. Mm -hmm. Missing purses. Persons. Per missing purses. Ask around Prim about Lori. Mm -hmm. Upgrade. Redux. When things get ham-fisted, only one man and his band of tax filers can figure it out. Uh, daughter. I'm looking for a daughter. Hello? Looking for a daughter here. Have you seen this girl? Shove the picture in his face. Yeah, I did see her. 
She was grilling some guy for information. Then she left in a hurry. Mm, grilling him about what? Cheeseburgers? She kept asking him, who knows about me? He said no one. She called him a lying fucking rat and broke his arm. Oh my god. Before this guy shows up, she's sitting at the bar. And I introduced myself. No such luck for me, though. But I did catch a glimpse of a pit boy. And there was a map mark for the Matthews farm. Not the Matthews farm. Thank you, sir. No problem. Man, things are much easier when I don't need to read them. Reading's difficult, everyone. Lori, we're gonna find you. Look, there's a guy from Crash Bandicoot. Hey, yo, Lori, I got a giant gun. You raising these kids as your own? You have two seconds to tell me what you're doing here before I kill you. Oh, my, my kids are here. We're here for the petting zoo. My father's been dead for years. Who the fuck do you... Shit! Get down! I'm gonna trust you. Hey! Sorry. Holy shit. Oh, you got one too? Oh, did you just pick it up? Yeah, they're real nice, aren't they? Also, these are my fists. This is the gun I was talking about. Man, I really... The only thing coming back to New Vegas is, like, zero, minus, and equal signs. You can't use them. And number two as well, but... I'd rather take different ammo types than... Then, you know. Let me guess. His name was Johanna. Well, no. Why does everyone have a different name? Yeah, what's going on? Well, I'll tell you. You're a fucking idiot. Fuck That's you, Lori. That's what's going on here. You allowed him to plant a tracking device on you. This is typical. I swear I'm fucking jinxed. He said it was a tattoo, all right? How would I know? I asked for an elephant on my chest. He said, how about I put you on the elephant riding it? I said, okay, but only if I'm dressed up as Woody from Toy Story. He said, deal. How can I make this right? Well, thanks to your dumb ass, I'm going to have to go underground for a while. However, if you're still looking to find missing people, I work for a firm that does exactly that. Unfortunately, you just created an opening. Nice. Just don't expect me to give you a letter of recommendation. I forgot how much of an asshole everyone is this mod. What's the deal with you and this Johannes character? The fuck if I'm gonna tell you that? All right, fuck you two and Ralph. Why'd you come? Why don't you come with me? I might as well put a bullet in my head right now. I hope I never see you again. But if I do, stay the fuck out of my way. I'm gonna kill you, Lord. Whoa, holy shit, she was a ghost. Probably made that joke last time. All right, apply for a job at Missing Persons HQ. See if you can get some benefits. These, oh wait, no, I don't wanna do that. Just a second, there you go, you got it now. Freeze. Shoot nails out of my pants. That's what it sounds like. Sounds good. All right, north, north, north. Hello? Morning, ma'am. Oh, how can I help you? Lori had to go underground. I messed everything up. I'm here for a job. So you're the asshole? No. Let's get one thing straight, shithead. Lori was, is, and always will be the best agent we ever had. So if you want her job, you're going to have to earn it. Now, what are your qualifications? I once stood on a like a 12-foot ladder and I pooped, and it landed directly into a red Solo cup. So... Uh, I'm the fucking courier? Check your ego at the door. You're hired. Just don't expect any special treatment. Yeah, well, if you expect me to poop in a bottle from a five-story building, well, I, I can do that. What's my first assignment? Milton Van Gilder, son of Pembroke Van Gilder, has been missing for three days. Talk to the father at the Ultralux. Oh, and try not to piss him off. The, the Van Gilders are a very influential family. All right. Where's the other people? Ooh! How you doing, Ralph? Doing good? Do I look like your friggin' pack Brahmin to you? I don't think so. Yeah, I guess you do, kind of, actually. I wanna to talk to you. 
What can I do you for? I need you to tell me about the Legion. Freaking savages. If they win this war, I'll be the first to sign up for the Resistance. The Resistance. What's your opinion of the NCR? I don't much like the bureaucratic bullshit, but I suppose if you're gonna side with anyone, they'd be the best bet. Mmm, taxes, Mr. House. No one guy should have that much power. Especially not that creepy weirdo. Ronald McDonald, what's your followers apocalypse? I admire the good things they do for the people in this wasteland, but the whole pacifism thing doesn't make much sense to me. Jesus says... Just because a sign says no guns allowed doesn't mean people are gonna follow that rule. Oh, that's not what he said, but okay, booms. I wanna play with some of their toys. Ugh, oh, gross. And the Brotherhood. They need to get out of that bunker and kick some Legion ass, otherwise it's just gonna end up being the grave. I'm pretty sure they got air conditioning down there, so they should be fine. Let's try to equip it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God. Alright, who are we talking to? Pemberbottom? Pembroke, then, then the older Pemberbottoms. Talk to the Pemberbottoms, they have all the information. Alright, we're here, we got uh, the Monopoly guy over here. Pembroke Vingobottoms. Yes! Any idea where your son might be? I didn't hire you so I could do your job for you. Hmm. But if you're looking for a lead, talk to that cretin friend of his, Ivan. Hmm. Criminal swine. He usually frequents at that cesspool known as the Thorn. Meanwhile, at the Thorn... What the hell is it? Mmm, butter, butterball panda bottom. Mmm, I'm here for my butter glaze. Yes, put it all over my chimpando. Mmm, my chimpando bears extra red today. How many people do we have? Wait, what? Oh, fucking Pizza Pete! I'd chop your mustache off and use it as a tiny car! Shut the fuck up, Pizza Pete! No one said you should be here. Pete's bullcrap. Stop flipping inanimate objects, Ralph. Right, Going are we to talking? A good bed at the thorn. Are we talking to Wolverine? Ghoul Wolverine. Hello. Are you looking for a beating? No. Get lost, maggot. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll stay at 20 frames. Alright, alright. Oh. Hello. We're gonna rob the Van Graffs. Whoa, wow. How about you wash your hair first? I can think of easier ways to commit suicide. They can't hurt me. My daddy will destroy them. Oh, is he a wizard? The hitmen are in the building. Oh shit, here they come! Daddy! <laughs> Pisses self. <sighs> Can't help thinking that we've not seen the last Good news! Good job. Thank you. You got a real job for me, not a baby job? You're new, so naturally you're going to get the shit assignments. Don't like it? There's the door. There's the chair. There's a chair over there. There's a desk over here. I can name objects, all right? You dumb bitch. Sorry, receptionist. But you don't have a name, so I'm just gonna... You win. What's my next assignment? And Dr. Joseph Murph, a scientist contracted by the NCR, has gone missing. Last seen doing research at Mole Rat Ranch. You should start your search there. Yeah, well, your dumb name doesn't even have a capital R, so no shit. Well, Lori did say that you were slow. Yeah, it's better than being fast, all right? You ever hear the tortoise and the hare story, you dumb bitch? Blow it out your ass. Yeah, I'll blow it through your face. Put this fucking pistol in your mouth. God damn. Sorry, receptionist. All right. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> how much of an asshole everyone is. I know I said that already, but Jesus. Oh, God. I mean, I did mess up Lori's thing, so. Okay, time to go John Wick on everyone and start kicking knees in and blowing faces off. Gotta shoot him in the chest and in the face. Oh, wait, are you... Wait. Talk to me, ma'am. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to talk to you. 
Here we go. Murph. Murph. Ooh, do we get? Finally, I will conduct some meaningful research rather than this mundane work on mole rats. A new AI. I'm going to put the Zack series to shame. This will no doubt put a target on my back, but that's the risk we all take in the name of scientific progress. Speaking of which, I suspect that some unsavory characters have caught wind of my work. I must. Oh shit! I could they really found go me. for a drink right now. Hey, you got any malord on you? What is what is that? Is that some kind of like frozen gravy? What are you even talking about, Ralph? God, it's disgusting. Don't even look at me. Stop! Stop slapping yourself, Ralph. All right? I don't mean it. All right, let's go back to home base. Tell everyone the news. Not really good, not really bad, just news. What time is it? 7.09 p.m. We're gonna have to sleep in. It's gonna be a dark night. Like every night, because there's no lights on. Good news! What did you find? I found a note journal thing. Good work. I'll get someone to look into it right away. Take a break. Never. I never take breaks. I'm a machine. I'm a damn machine. Ralph, stop slapping yourself. You're not actually buying this missing persons crap, are you? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Something just doesn't feel right. Mm, like when your nuts get tangled up in your pants and you gotta adjust them, but you try to do it discreetly so no one thinks you're just touching your nuts for no reason? Ah, jeez. For a wasteland badass, you're pretty naive. Sometimes you gotta touch your nuts, Ralph, I'm just saying. I don't know yet, but... Hey, don't look at me like that. I may be going senile, but I'm not quite in Nobok Noonan territory yet. All I'm saying is that something creeps me out about this operation, and that maybe we should do a little recon first. Alright, what do you suggest? Oh, for the love of... Ugh, the floor safe, you genius! <laughs> Sorry. Alright, you cover me. Search the freaking floor safe. <laughs> uh... There's nothing in... Oh, wait, no. Found it. I found another stooge to take Lori's place. Sadly, she disappeared before we could eliminate her. She was getting suspicious. I sent her a little pawn to look for the good Dr. Murph. Hopefully that sadistic jackass, Johannes, hasn't gotten there first. Alright, do we talk to you now? What can I do you for? I found this magic note. You don't care about it. Do I look like your friggin' pack, Brahmin? Yeah, but yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I'll take everything, I guess. Yeah, okay. What can I do you for? I found this note and this other stuff. Let's interrogate her. I'll kick her in the back of the head, and you th throw that like a frisbee at her knees. Whoa! Easy there, Skippy. Let's keep playing along and see where it leads us. I'll take this Play-Doh and shove it in the mouth, and you can hit her in the back of the head with Legos. Oh my god. Then we could shove her in a tiny room and fill it with seagulls until they crap in her mouth. We'll wait until this clock character tells her what to do next. In the meantime, I have a favor to ask. Sure, anything. I lost something in Deadwind Cavern. Place infested with death claws. And why am I gonna help you? What'd you lose? None of your damn business. All right, sounds good. Pizza to Pete, what do you think about that? Oh, what? <sighs> <laughs> Oh, pizza to Pete. It's me, a pizza to Pete. Oh, shut up, pizza to Pete. Shut your damn mouth, pizza to Pete. You slut. Oh, shit. We did this last time. John Wick, save me. face first into a death claw. Oh. Shit. <laughs> oh no! Actually, 
Jesus. Mission accomplished. <laughs> um. Oh, it's this cave, right? Okay. What else we got in here? What other unbelievably not good for this operation weapon could I use? Do I have any grenades? No, I don't. 